Hi guys, Beck and Jazzy back. I've just stumbled across this small, very small parcel of land um, in my own neighbourhood and I thought I would show you guys what I found. So I'm at the end of the track here unfortunately but it seems that every day I find something at the end of the track. And just as in other parts of this neighborhood, which I was in previous two videos, it is the same sort of thing, isn't it? So I'm going to take you for a walk along this beautiful creek. Soaks it up a bit there. And show you also the spectacular trees that have been left here. This is one of the most, if not the biggest, gum I have seen in the city, in suburbia. That is majestic, a majestic silver gum. That is huge. Oh, cameras never do justice, do they? This is a huge tree. So it's pretty nice here. It's been raining this morning, so we've got a bit of a, a flow going. You're going to try and get in. I oh, want water. That is such a beautiful tree. But as I've said in other parks, look at the trees here. This is not even what I would class as a park. It's just a tiny stretch of land. And yeah, they would have had to keep this um, vacant because I guess if this water rises, these houses are just that, these houses here are just that far enough away that um, the water won't reach them. However, there's something really interesting down here and um, I'm just wondering why. It seems such an overkill and it actually is for now because if this creek would have been left to run normally, like all the other creeks do around here, there wouldn't have been a problem. Wait till you see what's down here. It's very interesting. Because this is just the back of a suburb that, you know, it's, there's no traffic here. There's no traffic. And here I want to show you an incredible fig tree. This one is just humongous, absolutely incredible that tree. And what we have over here is viaduct. Well, it's a weir, really. That's your viaduct. It's not being used anymore because the water doesn't come up that high anymore. And I seriously believe this was built very, very long time ago. Very long time ago. So I'm going to go up the bridge here and show you this duct. Or this weir, you could say. Now, I know I can see that there is some submerged under the water, which would be yeah, look at the wall. Look at that wall. Oh, uh, it's just rocks. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know it is. It is just rocks. But look at this. This is in the back of a very sleepy suburb. That's where we just walked from. And these little creeks around here, they're all the same. So why this? This is purpose built in the day many years ago, like I said. Look under the water there. Look at this. What is this doing here? These are questions we have to ask. This is such an overkill for this area. So they have 
purposely wanted this water to funnel in here and then this goes for a long way too. Let's go and just have a quick look down here and I can show you. So I know this goes all the way to Binley Road there. Now, we won't be able to see around the corner, but look at that. It's, um, it's a mini weir. Absolutely, a mini weir. Jazzy, come down here. But for this area, I'm, I'm just, I'm actually gobsmacked. Which shows you that this is repurposed into a park. This was not a park. This was, well, being all the work that went into this is probably where they come to swim or something in the day a long time ago. We have a bin chicken. Hello bin chicken. Beautiful silky oak. Now yeah this is just in my little neighborhood guys. And you know what? I didn't know it was here until just before. I just happened chance I was going to go to a different park. This goes for miles. It's it's a total purpose built weir to create a river that flowed through some humongous beautiful properties that were here that have since been destroyed and that is my exploration for today i hope you've enjoyed my video please like share or subscribe and subscribe and i'm trying to bring you videos pretty much every day even if they're only quick I mean, this is just fantastic. What a find. A weir in the back of my own neighborhood <laughs> that I never knew existed. Eyes wide open, guys. Eyes wide open. This is Beck and Jazzy's trekking. We are out.